This is one of my favorite things to do right now, guys. It's meditative pruning. It really makes me zen and calms me. It's not exactly like uh, clipping topiary or um, pruning bonsai or just pruning shrubs in general, but it's very, very relaxing. I love to take shrubs and turn them into small trees that I can then use in pots or even in my landscape. This is a gorgeous sunshine lagustrum that I have just transformed and it's going to fill out on top. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. But I've also done this with plants in the ground. It's the same technique that I used on my fabulous Chinese snowball viburnum that started out as a shrub and I transformed it into a small tree in the landscape. And here's the technique. It is so easy to do but again, I think its merits right now is that it's just so relaxing and so meditative. So basically what I do is I just take some kind of shrub that really has gorgeous trunks. Um, for example, I did this winged euonymus a few years ago, and it looks, I think, just spectacular in this plain terracotta uh, pot. It takes in this case, a common plant and turns it into an uncommon specimen. And we're gonna do the same thing with this sunshine lagustrum. So basically what I do is I just start at the bottom and I work up removing all twigginess and I just try to expose the beautiful main branches. Maybe you can see them there. These are the main trunks with lots of side twiggy branches. And I am just going to remove a lot of that twigginess. I'm going to let these gorgeous trunks remain. And I'm going to basically expose the skeletal architecture of this shrub and turn it into something that I think is really special, a little bit more dramatic. And again, it's just a relaxing enterprise. So let me show you how it goes. Well, I could keep pruning on this more and I might still do some fine tuning, but basically I've done what my objective was. I've accomplished what my objective was, which to, was to expose the beautiful trunks and make a shrub turn into a small tree that in a really beautiful statement pot will make a gorgeous specimen, I think. And what I love about this sunshine lagustrum 
is that it really can handle really hot, really sunny, almost brutal conditions. It will get even more yellow, even more golden in the sun and as, as um, it gets hotter and hotter. And it really just is beautiful. And I think it will be gorgeous to have two of these flanking either side of an entryway this summer. So you guys might want to try that. Just get a Sunshine Ligustrum. You can order it um, through a retailer or Plants by Mail, and you too can experience the zen of gardening.